You switch to this build and your system feels lighter than stock. Windows 11, yet the interface takes you straight back to the Windows 7 era. This is Windows 7 Remastered 2026 Edition, a careful mix of Windows 7 vibes with Tiny 11 performance. Hi, this is Neil from HT, and let's test how this OS performs. Windows 11 fills the start menu with pins you never use. It ships with dozens of apps you did not ask for. You get clutter, noise, and distractions that slow you down. Now look at Windows 7 Remastered. You get the classic start menu that many people missed for years. In settings, you see zero pre-installed apps, no bloatware anywhere. Windows Defender, updates, and the Microsoft Store work normally. Let's look at disk usage. A clean Windows 11 install takes about 32.4 gigabytes before you add any apps. Most of that space goes to bloat, background tools, and features you will never touch. Your storage disappears fast. Now check Windows 7 Remastered. It uses about 7.1 gigabytes. No bloat, no junk, no unnecessary apps. You get a lean system that keeps your storage free and your PC fast. RAM usage always tells the truth. Windows 11 uses around 2.3 gigabytes on idle with a four gigabyte system. Windows 7. Remastered uses about 1.5 gigabytes after installation. If you install Velotic and turn on the RAM cleaner, you can bring usage down to around 900 megabytes. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny 11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. Let's check CPU usage and background activity. Windows 11 runs about 150 processes, close to 2,000 threads, and around 61,000 handles. Even on idle, it stays busy with tasks you will never use. Windows 7 Remastered runs about 100 processes, 1,300 threads, and around 33,000 handles. It removes the adware and background tasks that Microsoft loads by default. All essential processes stay intact, so everything works as expected. Now you check Geekbench 6 performance. Before that, a quick introduction. We are the original creators of Tiny11. We released it one week after the first unofficial Windows 11 leak in 2021, long before NTDev was known. You might wonder how Tiny11 compares to NTDev builds. NTDev builds are meant for virtual machines and testing. They said this clearly. They are not designed for daily use. Our builds are different. We focus on safety, stability, and daily use. You avoid the security risks that come with third-party builds like Ghost Spectre or X Lite. On this system, stock Windows 11 scores 2,070 in single core and 5,872 in multi-core. If you want to install Windows 7 Remastered, check the pinned comment for the official site and the installation video. Windows 7 Remastered gives you higher efficiency, faster processing, and more room for apps and multitasking. If your PC overheats or throttles, this system helps because it removes heavy background activity. On the same hardware, Windows 7 Remastered scores 2,411 in single core and 6,792 in multi-core. This is a clear performance gain Now you check Windows Defender. Many users trust it. Some switch to another antivirus. Some avoid it because of false alerts. You get full control here. Windows 7 Remastered keeps Defender off by default, 
so your system stays quiet. You can enable it anytime. Open the Configure Toolbox. Go to the Windows Defender tab. Click Enable. Defender activates in seconds. You get real-time protection with no extra steps. You stay in control of what runs on your system. Now you check Windows Updates. Tiny11 pauses updates by default. Windows will not install anything unless it is a critical security fix. This keeps your system stable and quiet. If you want full updates, open Settings. Go to Updates. Turn them on. You can see the system is fully updated right now. You can also turn updates off in the Configure app, but this can break the Microsoft Store and other features. I do not suggest doing it. Now you check the Microsoft Store. It works like any normal Windows setup as long as you keep updates on. Windows 7 remastered ships with no extra apps, so you can install only what you need. Search for Notepad, Calculator, or Snipping Tool. Click Get. The store handles the rest. You can sign in with your Microsoft or Xbox account. This gives you access to your purchased apps and games without problems. Now Notepad is installed. It opens fast and runs without friction. Windows 7 Remastered is a premium product built for users who want nostalgia with security and modern features intact. You get smooth performance with no clutter and no wasted resources. You can download free themed builds from random creators online. You also take the risk of hidden malware and broken daily use. If you need safety, speed, and stability, this premium build is the right choice. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This is the Harbor of Tech sailing off.